Fantastic Mom. Today I am finally going to get around to doing the Q&A that I asked y'all about a week or so ago. It's been a little while. I've had the questions. I did get questions from you guys. Some on YouTube, some on my Instagram. Um, not a whole lot, but a few. And some of these I've probably answered before in um, Q&As I've done in the past. You know, if you want to go watch those, I'll um, link that up here. You can go watch those, and maybe you'll find out something different about me that you won't find out today. But, um, um, got some pretty good questions here. I'm going to answer them and let you learn a little bit more about Thriftastic Mom. <laughs> Sorry it took me a while to get it up. I did have some other um, hauls and different things that I wanted to put up before this, so I got them out of the way. And now... It's time to sit down, relax, answer a few questions, and let you get to know me a little better. Especially you new guys that haven't been with me that long. You Maybe you haven't seen any of my Q&As, so now's a good time to get to know me a little bit. If you don't know, I am from South Carolina. You know, that isn't a question, I don't think, but I'm from South Carolina. I'm 47, 48 years old, um, and I have one, um, one biological son two stepsons, and a whole bunch of grandkids. So that's pretty much me. I'm just an old country girl, and I like to make videos and share with you guys. And I do all kind of different things on my channel here. So I'm going to get into these questions now and let you find out some other things about me. Um, a lot of people ask the same questions. I wish some people would just really come out and ask me questions that, you know, that I wouldn't normally see. Um, I mean, there are some questions that I might not want to answer if they're too personal, but, you know, just something different that you wouldn't normally see. Um, but, that's all good. Alright, I'm going to read them off the paper here. I had wrote them down when I got them all together the other day. Okay, my first question is, how did you meet your husband and was it love at first sight? I actually met him on a online dating site. I decided to try it for a couple months, see if I liked it, you know, because I couldn't really at the time afford to do it, but I did it anyway. And I had, you know, I was ready to date and meet somebody new. I had come out of a 13-year marriage that didn't work. And um, I was looking for a good man. Yes, all I could say. <laughs> I was looking for a good man, you know, to be a partner and, and um, hopefully a soulmate. Anyway, I went on this um, website. I think it was like singles.net or something like that. I tried that for a few months, and that's where I met my husband at. Um, I actually sent him a flirt. You know, I told the Lord, I'm, I'm not going for looks. I'm not going for anything except the person and how they are, how they talk, how they respond to me, anything like that, you know, because... I have tried things in the past, and, and they didn't work out. So um, I, I run across my husband's profile. I liked what I read, so I sent him a little flirt, and that's how we started talking. We talked for several months before we ever even met, and I knew from the get-go he was different than the other men that I had talked to on there before. So that was A-plus for him. Um, I met him probably three months after we talked, I actually let him come to my house, and my dad happened to be there. <laughs> it just worked out great. My dad was in my yard cutting my grass for me, because we all lived on the same property at that time, and uh, he always come down there and, and uh, just bush hogged my yard, and um, he happened to be down there in the yard when Russell pulled up, and uh, so he actually met my dad before he met me. Was it love at first sight? No. Because I felt like Russell wasn't, really wasn't my type, what I normally went for, which I said when I was praying to God, you know, that I'm going to find a man that is good. I'm not going by looks. I'm not going by certain characteristics or anything like that. I, I want a good man. So when I met Russell, he was what I thought was not my type because he just didn't, he just didn't look and act nothing like what I normally went for. But he ended up being a, a wonderful man, and he kind of grew on me. <laughs> That's all I can say is he grew on me. It took me a little while. I wasn't sure. And I'm like, this is really a good man. This is what I've been praying for. I've been praying for a good man. 
And, uh, you know, we got along great. We still get along good. And, um, you know, I just, I just wanted a good man. That's what I had been praying for. So I'm like, I'm going for it. We'll see where it goes. So we've been married 11 years. Never separated or anything like that. Now, we're not perfect. We have our arguments and stuff at times. But for the most part, we get along great. And we love each other. And that's all that matters. And I really love him. <laughs> it wasn't love at first sight, but I do love him. It, after a few months, I was totally smitten with him. Okay, number two. What made me start eBay and YouTube? Now, YouTube, I started back like seven years ago. Um, I had just kind of just, I had just noticed that people were posting things on the YouTube, and I was like, I don't know about this. You know, I was wanting, kind of wanting to start a weight loss journey, so I thought maybe if I started making videos about it, that it would keep me accountable, and that it would help me, which it did for a good while. I lost a lot of weight, but of course I gained it back. That's how I started YouTube. I started doing these videos, and it was all about weight loss. Even though I named it Thriftastic Mom then, it was all about weight loss, and um, it helped me. It helped me a lot. So, but eventually I started doing other things and doing other things and kind of got away from the weight loss, you know, stuff. But um, now the channel I have now is totally different, but I like it like that. I love the different things that I have on my channel. Um, the eBay, you know, it's funny. As long as I have thrifted all my life and then I've done thrift videos, all that stuff on here, Never once thought about making a living at selling the things that I buy from thrift stores. You know, I was like, what? And then I started coming across videos where people were doing that. And I'm like, well, duh. This is something that I love. They always say work doing something that you love. And you'll never work a day in your life. Well, I'm like, well, duh. Why hadn't I thought about this sooner? I had already been doing eBay, just selling things here and there that we had around our home or whatever, and I was like, yeah, I need to open up a store on here and, and get this going and see how it goes, you know, because I love doing this, so why wouldn't I enjoy it? So that's kind of how my eBay um, adventure got started. <laughs> All right, number three, where did you live growing up? I lived in a little town called Kershaw, South Carolina, very small town. Uh, where did you raise Chris? I also raised him in Kershaw because I was pretty much in Kershaw all my life until I met my husband and then I moved down here, I guess, six years ago, six, seven years ago. I moved down here to uh, Lex Columbia, South Carolina, and now I'm in Lexington, which is butts up with Columbia. And um, I've been down here for like seven years, but I lived and raised Chris in Kershaw. Okay, would, would you like to have another pet? I would like to have another pet. Sometimes I feel like that. And then there's days that I'm like, oh, no, I, I don't miss all the hair and, and uh, cleaning up after an animal. But uh, I do miss my last dog I had. He was a Pekingese, and he got um, anal cancer, and I ended, eventually had to put him down. And he was mean, but sweet, you know. He would bite your finger off if you tried to take his food. But the rest of the time, he was just loving as he could be. But um, after him, I said I'd never have another one. But there's sometimes I'm like, oh, I see all these cute little animals, and I want one. Uh, or at least a dog. I've never been much of a cat person. Now, my husband would rather have a cat. But actually, where we live, you know, we own our own place, but we rent the lot, and we're not allowed to have animals. Not anything that could, be, you know, go and be outside. So we don't have any animals. And I, I think I'm going to keep it that way. Just I just have a cleaner house when I don't have animals. Okay. Next question is, have you ever or would you ever dumpster dive? And, um, yes, I have dumpster dived. I, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I would do it now at my age, but um, I might would do a little dumpster diving now if it was it if it was legal around here but it's not legal around here most of the dumps around here has signs on them not to do that but yes when i lived in georgia years ago me and my ex-husband 
dumpster dive a lot. I mean, I mean, I made money every week having yard sales and selling stuff uh, from dumpster diving, and I loved it. Now, I would do most of the driving and running him around. He was a little skinny thing, so he would jump in the dumpsters and go through them, and we got stuff just about every time we went, and Oh, it was so exciting. I loved it. I know some of you are probably thinking, ooh, she's dumpster, dumpster dives, but it's really not that bad. You can wear gloves and be careful with it, but I've honestly, <laughs> I love dumpster diving, <laughs> and I wish I could do it and get away with it now. I don't think my husband would want me to because he's not into that. He's like, no, you don't need to be picking up stuff off a dump, a side of the road or a dumpster, but if I see something on the side of the road and I want it and it's free, I'm going to get it. I don't care. I love it. And yes, I have done it a lot. All right, my next question is, have you ever made collard greens? No, I have not. <laughs> I tell y'all, I'm not a big cooker. I do cook every day, but it's little stuff, canned stuff, uh, you know, meat and canned goods, different things like that. Uh, even when I cook for, like, dinners and things, I normally don't do, like, collard greens or anything like that. Um... I actually have a friend at church. She makes really good collard greens. And most times she cooks them at our church functions. So I wouldn't try to cook them knowing she was going to bring them. But uh, no, I have never cooked collard greens. Because with just me and my husband, I mean, I don't need to be making a big pot of collard greens just for us too. So um, most time I don't cook big like that. But I like collard greens. I do love collard greens. Okay, next question is, when did you become a Christian? Um, when I was a teenager. I think I was about 17. 16 or 17. I don't remember the exact age uh, when I got saved and baptized. But um, I've pretty much been following Jesus my whole life. I had my grandmother and my grandfather on my mother's side were both pastors. And um, my aunt... And her husband, our, our pastor and pastor's wife. And, I mean, it's pretty much been in my family my whole life. I've went to church my whole life, pretty much, off and on with them. So, you know, I've always loved Jesus and followed Jesus. Even before I got saved, I really knew what was going on. So I've always been a part of church and, and following Christ to start with. But once I really knew what I was getting into and, you know, what what it really meant to have a relationship with God and who God was. And then I got saved, you know, because there's times that you fall away. Some people call it backsliding um, or whatever, but there's times you fall away and then you'll come back to God and, and start trying to live right and have that relationship. So there was times that I did that. A couple times I did that, um, like... Um, in my later younger years and stuff like that you know I fell away and then I came back and um rededicated my life to the Lord and ever since I've been pretty much on track but going through those younger years you know like in your 18 19 20 to 25 I think it was like 18 to 25 something like that that I um I wasn't doing what I should be I'll put it that way so yeah I've been a Christian a long time, and I've always believed. I've always believed, ever since I was a kid. Okay, next question. If you could live in another place, where would it be? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know for sure if I would really want to live in another place. There's places I'd like to visit. I've always wanted to like go to Hawaii. Um, I've always wanted to visit New York, but I would never live there. Um, sometimes I say I'd like to go live at Myrtle Beach just to be closer to the ocean. But I don't know. I don't like being too far away from my family. Right now I'm like an hour away, hour and ten minutes away. That's not too bad. But I still miss them, you know, because I don't get to be with them and see them all the time. Um... And as long as I'm close to my son. Now, if my son moved a couple states away, I might would have to go with him. Because <laughs> I don't want to be away from him, you know. I want to spend our life that we are living together. I don't see how mothers that live halfway across the world from their kids and get to see them once a year. I don't see how they do that. I just couldn't do it. Because um, you got one life to live. And I want to live it with my son. You know, I want to 
spend time with him and be with him when I can. So, um, I'm content where I'm at. I like South Carolina. I don't have no problem with South Carolina. The weather's decent here. And, um, I'm pretty happy with here. I don't want to be too far, too far away from my family. Because I don't like to travel a lot. I don't like to drive in a car or ride in a car for a long time. So, I feel like, um... I wouldn't do good if I was several hours away. Okay, the next question is says, have you ever been to Canada? No, I have not. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever travel that far. Even though I say, I've always said I want to go to Hawaii. But I don't want to travel anywhere that i got to get on an airplane. I might would get on a boat or a train. But I don't really want to get on an airplane. Um, so there's a lot of places I won't go because I won't get on an airplane, but I'm not a big traveler anyway, but you know, Hawaii has always been like a dream, you know, I'd love to go to Hawaii, but I'll probably never go. Somebody asked, was I a Elvis fan? And did I like his gospel music? I have always liked Elvis. I like singing like Elvis sometimes. I'll be around the house and I'll be singing like Elvis. Um, when I was growing up, I loved watching Elvis movies. Um, I've always, I don't know what it is about Elvis. I've always just liked Elvis, I guess because I grew up watching his movies. I like his music. I like his Christ, uh, Christian music. I like, you know, pretty much everything about him. Um, but I'm not like a big fan where I collect anything from him. But um, I do like his music. And yeah, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to watch an Elvis movie, you know. So, yeah, I can say I like Elvis Presley. And believe it or not, you might, might not believe it, but I like Michael Jackson. We listen to Michael Jackson sometimes. Nobody's ever asked me that I like Michael Jackson. But uh, me and my husband both like Michael Jackson music. So sometimes we'll listen. We mainly listen to, to Christian music. But sometimes if we're sitting here in the house, we'll turn on some videos and watch Michael Jackson because we both like Michael Jackson. Um... Alright, my favorite food, I would probably say, I would assume is Chinese food because uh, a lot of times that's what I want if we're going out to eat. I'm like, let's get Chinese, you know, let's get Chinese. <laughs> so, I would assume Chinese food is my favorite. I like a lot of food. You can kind of look at me and tell that. <laughs> I do like to eat. But, um, I would say Chinese food is like my go-to, go out to a restaurant and, and grab a good, good food. And I... I think my favorite Chinese food is like cream cheese wontons. Or some people call it crab ragoon or something like that. Um, I love that stuff. That's like my favorite Chinese food. <laughs> okay, the next question is where are your watchers from? Are they from all over? Uh, yes, and I actually meant to look. I was going to look at my map on my YouTube because it shows me. But I have people overseas. I have people from United Kingdom. I mean, just all over the place watches me. I do have more people in the U.S., but there are a couple places overseas that are lit up, and I can't remember them all right now, but I have several people that watch me pretty much everywhere. I'm quite surprised uh, uh, at where, where people watch me from. It's amazing that you can make a video in your home and put it on YouTube and, and people all over the world can watch it and they're like, hey, I'm from so-and-so, I'm from Brazil. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so you have to think about that. If you're going to make a video and put it on, that ain't, it ain't just your local people going to see it. It's everybody everywhere is going to see your face and what you're doing. But I love it. It's very interesting to me that people can watch you all over the world. Okay, my last question is, how is Baby Cash? Um, Baby Cash is doing good. He is actually seven months old. Well, he's fixing to be in just a couple of days. And, of course, I haven't seen him in the last couple of months because I haven't seen him since he was, he was just turning five months old when all this stuff started with the, um, with the virus junk going on. And, um... He come over one day and spent a couple hours here. Chris got where he was bringing him like every Saturday over here to see me and spend. Sometimes they'd spend an hour. Sometimes they'd spend four hours. It's just according to what he had going on. Last time I got to see him was like 
right at, it was fixing to be the beginning of March. So, um, it's been a while. I haven't gotten to see him. He wasn't setting up the last time I seen him. Last Now he's setting up. Um, he, uh, I did see him this past weekend. We went out there to fish at their pond, and they were out in the yard. So we kind of social distanced from each other. And uh, I, ho you know, I talked to him from a distance. And uh, so I got to see him that I didn't get to hold him or touch him or anything like that. But I did get to see him from a distance and talk to him. And uh, that's the first time I'd seen him in, since beginning of March. But he's doing good. He is so cute. Um, maybe I'll put a couple pictures in here at the end for you. You could see that. See some of the recent pictures they've took of him. He's such a cutie pie. I think he looks like Rose. Everybody says he looks like Chris, but I don't see it a whole lot. To me, he looks just like Rose and uh, her dad, because Rose looks like her daddy. So he, to me, he looks like them. Um, but, you know, sometimes I can see a little bit of Chris in him. He's got beautiful blue eyes, gorgeous blue eyes. My grandpa, his name was Walter, and uh, everybody called him Blue. That was his nickname, because he had beautiful blue eyes. Well, Cash has got beautiful blue eyes. So I said, well, he takes that after his great-grandpa. Um, but yeah, he is so sweet and I can't wait till I get to hold him again and, and talk to him. Cause every time he'd come over here, he'd take a little nap on me and I loved just holding him and letting him sleep on me. But, um, I can't wait to get my hands on him again. I ain't, I ain't seen him in two months. So, uh, we'll see. March, all of April. Yep. So, I'm hoping for too much longer, I'll get to spend some time with him and hold that little bugger. Because <laughs> he, he's growing like a weed. And I love looking at his pictures because he's got all these little rolls in his arms. They're just like dent, 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 dent. And he, I, he reminds me of the, um, what is it? Is it the Michelin Man? I think it's the Michelin Man. Somebody reminds me of a dust chunk yarn. This guy, he's so cute. But I'll put a few pictures here so you can see what he looks like currently. You having fun? Cash. <laughs> Michael Whalen. What are you doing? <laughs> but anyway that is my little question and answers for you today um i hope it helped you get to know me a little more um if you have any other questions you could put them in the comments and i'll just answer them in the comments um anything you would like to ask about me um i'm pretty much an open book unless it's something real personal but um you know, if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask. Um, I guess I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next one. God bless. Bye.